Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. Um, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button, particularly if you resonate with the video, and comment below if, if anything resonates with you. Right now we're doing the Taurus reading, and um, we are going to see what your thoughts are manifesting. So let's start with this deck here. This is the Inner Journey Tarot. It's an Etsy deck. There we go. And it says, what are your thoughts manifesting? Ooh. Okay, maybe some esoteric knowledge, new skills, um, kind of learning about self. It's not self -realm. Okay. Uh, and what are your thoughts manifesting? I feel like your thoughts are manifesting a happy inner child who doesn't have to think about this shit anymore. <laughs> That's totally what I got there, but let's see what's in the um, outcome part. What are your thoughts manifesting in the outcome? Ooh, two of them. So we've got empowerment and creativity. And these are really not red in the, these are only red in the if, right? Okay. So, um, so I feel like you're coming from a place of, you know, kind of shining a light on your inner happy self and kind of starting to kind of dig deeper and seeing where else you can kind of shine that light on. Um, you are feeling very, very empowered and it is, it is lifting you up. I mean, doing this work, you are cleansing, it is lifting you up and, um, you're kind of getting those creativity vibes. Um, you know, you're ready to kind of nurture a, a new project is kind of what I'm feeling. So what is getting in the way of nurturing a new project? You know, what part of the self-reflection are you not kind of seeing? Let's see what we've got here. All right. So you've been working on, on you know, illuminating um, yourself, maybe working on your inner child, just kind of working on making yourself happier. Um, these don't go here. Whoa, how did these get upside down? And how weird I just picked it up right from there. Okay, here we go. All right, so what is blocking this illumination for Taurus? Amber necklace, number 31. And then what is blocking the self-reflection here? Oh, we'll just do it like this, I guess. This is a dog's leg and a jawbone here. Um, amber necklace, number 31. We've got five, the dog's, the doll, the doll's leg. And 42 is the job bone. And then we have, um, what's in the place of blocking this outcome? There's a lot of cards in this one. All right. All right, so we're putting, um, okay. So there's some, some attachments um, in communication. Oh, somebody you can't trust, kind of tied to this person, kind of stuck on that energy. Um, so this is really something you do need to heal. It feels like this has been something um, kind of a long time coming. Um, and it is in the way of... Um, I'm feeling a lot of trauma here. I'm feeling a lot of trauma. You've done so good to just focus on the beautiful part of you. And now as it's kind of going through the body, I feel like you're remembering the physical effects. And I feel like you're really, I'm getting definitely, a, a, you know, you need to write a letter to person, object, event. Um, because it is keeping you bound and it isn't true. I feel like you're being challenged right now. I feel like you've done so much work on yourself to trust yourself. And I really feel like spirit is calling for you to trust yourself as well. You have the tools to do it. This is your first little test and it doesn't matter what other people think. You have to live with your life. Um, that line of thinking keeps you stuck. Um, 
So I do, I am feeling ancestral kind of wounding that is kind of keeping you stuck and it is a, a way of thinking and it doesn't belong to you. It does not, it's ancestral. It, it just, it doesn't even resonate for you, but there it is rooted in your thinking and your subconscious. And I feel like you're discovering those things kind of now and it is going to take some effort in order to kind of root those things out. Your ancestors are asking you to write this stuff down. They're asking you to create. Um, they're asking you to keep a journal, basically. Um, it's going to lead to an epiphany that will literally free you. There is a call to write a story. Is somebody writing a book? I'm getting write your own story. Write your story. It will... It will free you from the past and it'll bring you the message. It'll, it's like you'll have understanding. Um, so you really need to journal is what I'm getting here and to trust yourself and you don't have to work. I think in the past, maybe you have relied on other people. Um, oh, let's see what the ancestral wounding is. I want to know what this is. What is this ancestral wounding? All right. So. We've got an explorer, an adventurer, um, in pre-earth. So you miss your freedom. And then somewhere along the line, you had like gluttony or diet issues. Um, in the late Bronze Age, I want some more. <laughs> Give me some more. Um, so um, maybe there's some gossip about your weight um, or that you can't do something because of your weight. Um, and fuck those people. Sorry. But like, seriously, um, you can't live your life because of what other people think you can do. You know what you can do and you can trust yourself. And if you're going on an adventure and you can, you know, you can do this, you can do this. You can do this. Um, so I feel like, um, if the food is it just something exploring food, um, wanting to have some freedom. Maybe you're a cook, but I feel like you're being surrounded by people who are just kind of like telling you you can't. And spirit is here to tell you, you can, they can't. You're here to write a new story. All right. So let's see what we have. Um, how do you need, to, oh wait, that's not it. We're going to do, how do you need to communicate? How do you need to communicate? Damn, that just flew right out. So we're going to use that one. Cause it didn't just, it just like, like my pinky finger involuntarily swung upward and it flew out. It was weird. It was so weird. All right. Okay. So I'm like the truth. You need to commute. You, the unadulterated truth, right? Like she's in skimpy circus clothes here <laughs> and she's got a raven of truth up above her head here. So, and then it says inner vision. So I feel like, I feel like trust yourself, write your story. However that means if you paint, that's writing it. If you sing, that's writing it. If you cook, that's writing it. So write your story, produce your inner vision um, and give the unadulterated truth. Um, how else do you need to communicate? And I think that's pretty clear. But just get, just speak your truth, 100%. Anything else you want to say about communication? Anything else you want to say about communication? Thank you, Spirit. All right. And we've got um, don't fight. And... Um, How do you turn this stuff into it? You know, be grateful for your journaling as a resource. Be grateful for the lessons that you learned from doing it. And um, I'm saying, I'm hearing write down the good, the bad, and the ugly, but be grateful for all of it. All right. What is in your near future? What is in your near future?
All right, so the fortifier, um, your near future. All right, let's keep going here. Because immediately with this typewriter upside down, I'm like, is this a no communication thing? Are we going no communication? Or maybe you need to go no communication. Or maybe that's what you've done in the past. Um, so what's in the near future? Seven of water. You feel alone. And that's okay. Don't talk to them about it. That's the future. Just don't talk to them about it. Don't let them shut you down. They're not your people. They're not your supporters. So don't tell them. Um, follow your inner vision. Do what you're going to do anyways. And they don't need to know. Um, look at you. You got, you got the Empress twice. You have the Empress twice. But definitely write your story. Create. I mean, you've been book-ended. You will feel so empowered if you write down, create your story. Um, act it out. This is even saying, like, act it out if you have to. Um, but break it down. And and do not... Look, it's book-ended here by the inner vision. We've got the inner vision here. The storm. This is a path you've got to take alone, but this is your purpose. But don't talk to people who are going to bag on you. Trust your own intuition. Fuck anybody who says anything different. Do you. You have the strength to do that. And then embrace it. Embrace the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and, and turn it into your superpower. All right. So we're going to finish up the reading with uh, yes, no, number, and vibration. All right. So if you've got a yes, no question that you're wanting answered, go ahead and think of that. Now, spirit, does Taurus, is Taurus going to get a yes or a no? Taurus need a yes or no. Yes or no. All right. I love this deck. I really, really do. All right. The Empress again. Like if that is not the third call... <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Whatever you're supposed to be doing and you know what it is. Fuck everybody else. Just do it. It says you have it all. Know your value and get respect. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Indulge in art, music, and dance. Become the divine feminine in her most evolved state. You don't have to be anything other than what spirit runs through you, right? When spirit runs through you and works through you, there are no decisions to be made. Um, you are just doing what feels good and what feels right. And you know this feels right. So do what feels right. All right, next we'll do <laughs> your numerology. All right, and hopefully it won't get like 10 cards this time because there's only like 22 cards in this little deck here. And the last reading I did, like 10 of the cards popped out. So let's avoid that. Can we just get one number for, let's just get one number for our Taurus. Jeez. Okay, three numbers. Another three for you guys. That's create, create, create. Write it down. Do what you got to do. Okay, um, so have some fun with it. Enjoy your life and success according to your own definition of what is fun and recharges self. So I'm really feeling um, love yourself. You're really kind of going to learn about yourself. And you can really enjoy this process of creation as well. Um, so this is number 15. We also got number 14. Um, decide decide or um, temperance and says decisions according to plans and structure create the protocol according to your own experiences and conclusions again trust yourself and then we go into the fool um, which is in this case change and it's the zero everything has a beginning and an end after the end there's a new beginning look at things uh, differently to, to grow um, so I, I really feel that creating from this, whatever it is that you, I barely feel like, I feel like self-doubt is such a distant memory. <laughs> I feel like it's such a distant memory, but I feel like the things that could get in your way, it's just like, um, just people not believing in you and spirit says you don't need them. You can believe in yourself. Um, let's get into the vortex, right? When you're in the vortex, you are co-creating with spirit. And if you don't know anything about Abraham Hicks and getting into the vortex, I highly recommend it. Um, it's absolutely changed my life, but this is her here, but it's Esther and Jerry Hicks. 
her spirit guide or her spirit entity is Abraham and she has written a lot of books um, asking it is given as one. Oh, this is not the right one. I want the other one. I want, let's get you into the co-creation vibration. This is not the right one. I want you in the co-creation vibration. All right, here we go. This is the getting into the vortex one. And this one is by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And um, again, her spirit guide is um, Abraham. All right, don't want to lose those cards there. All right, so let's see what um, what the vibration you need to get into co-create with spirit. What is the vibe? Wow, well, just give me an answer right away. All right, there we go. There you have it. Um, we have, if I can get this back in the box. There we go. All right, we have the universal law of attraction is managing my expans expansion. The universal law of attraction is managing my expansion. All right, I can probably zoom in on this, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry guys. That's better. Uh, is it? There we go. The law of attraction is the universal manager of all vibration, which expands to everything that exists through the universe. And so at the same time, the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational content of your physical thoughts. It is also responding to the vibrational content of your inner being. So there you have it. Go co-create with spirit. All of my beautiful, wonderful Tauruses. Um, and that is your reading. If, if you liked this reading and it resonated for you, um, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what I got right in the comments below for you or what resonated for you. And um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed day.